Hello, crafty friends. It's Erica, Scraptiva29. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a great weekend. Um, I wanted to come on just with a really quick project share. Um, I was playing around with the bottle, bottle caps that I shared over the weekend, and um, I wanted to show you the little hearts that um, I was playing with. What I decided to do was, I don't have a punch that matches this exact heart, but what I decided to do was um, fill it with glossy accents and add some of that confetti sequence that I recently picked up from Cartwright Sequence. And I just wanted to show you what it looked like using uh, glossy accents. I haven't tried resin, but um, I really do like the glossy accents. Um, I also sprinkled, sprinkled a little bit of glitter in there with the um, confetti and it came out really, really pretty. It's all dried and now I can, um, you know, attach a tassel and add a bale if I want or a jump ring and make a cute little dangle. But um, I wanted to show you how I um, filled the little hearts in case you were wondering. Um, here are a couple more that um, I made, again, using that really pretty uh, confetti sequence from Cartwright. And this one, I just used glitter and then this little tiny um, glitter sequence that I have from Michaels. And I really like the way that that one came out. It's so shiny and pretty when you um, add all that glitter mixed in. And then, um, and these are the other two that I made just with some more of the sequence. Um, so I just wanted to show you what um, other ways to use these in case you were wondering. Um, but it's really fun to use the glossy accents with the uh, sequins. So I did that and then I did make one little um, outgoing uh, treat bag uh, for some outgoing Happy Meal and I'm gifting some of this really pretty trim that I recently picked up. And I just, all I did was made a really cute little bag topper and then I made um, a button, stuck it in the circle of this blue center and then attached a really cute tassel. So I just wanted to quickly share that. I think it came out adorable and I will be sending this off today. So um, just a really cute way to decorate um, a bag topper. And then I also made one of these um, Divinity Designs um, tote bags um, to send off also with the Happy Mail that I'm sending. And I just wanted to show you really quick how cute it came out. Um, again, I had to use that little yellow um, blingy um, bottle cap holder. Um, I did make a button. I made a little unicorn button. I used the star bow, I believe from the Andy store. And then um, I decided to just make the wallet. It is non-functional. I just decided to have it as like decoration. Um, and then I used the really fun live, love, what is it, live life happy paper that I've been using recently. I added some bling on the sides. This is the back of the little tote. I love this little handbag. It's actually one of my favorite little handbags um, that I own. And I just wanted to come on quickly and show you how cute it came out. Um, and on the inside, I just decided to stick the wallet because of course the wallet goes with the tote. Um, the wallet that I had shared the other day um, with the uh, sequence, or yeah, I shared you guys the sequence that I had added and I did fill all of them up um, in these little baggies. So I just wanted to show you that I did finish that off. I had filled up my caddy, the one that I made, and the caddy was full and I couldn't put the wallet in there. So that's why I decided to make the little tote bag and the wallet fits perfectly in this little tote. Um, so if you have this die, pull it out. This one is a, is a fun one to play with. So anyway, quick project share. Happy Monday. Leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Check the description box below for product information. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will catch you in my next video. Bye for now.